Hello everybody. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to update your ASUS motherboard with the USB BIOS flashback tool. Um, as long as your motherboard uh, has this option available, um, then you can use it to update your BIOS without using a CPU, which I am going to be using on my ROG Crosshair 7 Hero for my soon to arrive 3900X um, because I do not have another AM4 processor right now. So uh, first things first, find your motherboard on the ASUS website and make sure that it has um, USB uh, BIOS flashback. Uh, once you do that, go to the support page, go to drivers and tools, and then go to BIOS and firmware. And normally you would download the most recent um, or the most up-to-date here BIOS. Um, if you know of any kind of instability, you can go to a previous version. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Um, I've already downloaded this one, so I have it here. And as you can see, there's two files. There's the cap file, which is the actual BIOS file, and then there's the renamer, and I will show you what the renamer does in a second. Asus recommends that you use a USB 2.0 stick instead of USB 3.0 just for stability. Um, so I grabbed an old Lexar drive, so that's what I'll be using. And so I have this old Lexar drive, and one other thing that you must remember to do is make sure that this USB is in FAT32. So you can check that by clicking, right clicking on it, going to properties, checking FAT32. If it is not FAT32, uh, right click on it, go to format, change the file system to FAT32. Oops. Change the file system to FAT32. Put the label as to whatever you would like and start it. It should take, if it's a small USB, it should take, you know, a couple, couple seconds maximum. Um, and then it'll erase everything on the drive, which you have to do anyways, is make sure that the drive is completely empty. Now copy these two files over to the USB. And open up the BIOS renamer. So if your BIOS version for some reason does not have a renamer, um, you will have to figure out what name it should be by using this web page. Um, I can put this in the description below. Um, but they give you the cap name that you should have um, for whichever board you have. Um, but luckily, mine includes the BIOS renamer. So all you do is open it. And as you can see, it's already renamed this file. So you could just press any kind of key and it'll close that. And now you can delete this file. And eject your USB. And you're ready to go and um, plug it into the motherboard. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take the USB that we put the BIOS on and we're gonna plug it into the BIOS USB port. So luckily, mine actually has it listed right here, um, but sometimes you'll have to look at your manual to figure out which uh, USB port is for the BIOS. So actually first, I'm gonna quickly turn on the power supply and let everything light up real quick. And now we will take the USB, plug it into that port, and then you hold the BIOS button for three seconds until you see it start to flash. And now as it strobes like that, um, you let it continue strobing until it becomes a solid light and then it'll turn off. Once it does that, that's when you know that it's finished updating. So uh, we'll catch you back when it's finished.
And there we go. So the BIOS is updated. Um, with most of the Asus uh, boards, if it flashes for five seconds and then goes completely solid, uh, that means something happened where the update didn't work. So if you have that issue, you can try it again. Um, and then if you continue having issues, they suggest you just contact Asus support. So uh, let's go and boot up the CPU. So as you can see here, uh, we've made it into the BIOS. Um, the Ryzen cards are having mouse issues, so you will have to use a keyboard. Um, but other than that, everything works. Um, you can do whatever you need to. And uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks.